This is a Honda S2000. It's turbocharged. Uh, with any turbocharged system, whether you add the turbo on aftermarket or it comes from the factory, one thing that separates it from uh, normally aspirated cars, you've got a lot of volume in piping, intercooler, turbo. So what happens is the turbo adds a restriction to the engine and once you get under boost is when you start to overcome all the, those restrictions and start to make way more power than you ever did normally aspirated. But that is where you find a lot of the complaints that people have about turbo systems is the throttle response. So there's been a lot of discussion and questions from people saying, you know, well, that blow-off valve stays normally open when you're off boost and you're going to be sucking in a lot of uh, material because it's not filtered. The design of the blow-off valve really is so that you, you bypass and route the discharge straight back after the air filter or after the airflow meter. Um, in an airflow metered car. But I, we want you to know that we are working on a prototype um, anti stall valve for the guys that want to discharge the blow off valve to atmosphere. Uh, what, we're gonna, what I'm going to demonstrate here is that when you reroute the discharge of the blow off valve back after the airflow meter or after the air filter, you eliminate a lot of that restriction that the intercooler piping, the turbo, the whole turbo system pretty much adds to an engine. And so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds in that you'll get throttle response that you're looking for from a normally aspirated car, not you know identical obviously, and you'll get the additional power you're looking for once the boost does come on and you overcome those restrictions. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and uh, removed our anti-stall fitting here and set it up so that if you can see it's normally open and you should usually have your recirculation fitting on the wall valve to go straight back after the air filter, the mass air meter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the boost source. So you'll see that the piston's gone ahead and closed. This is going to simulate what the turbo system is like if you had a blow-off valve that, was all, that wasn't routed back after the airflow meter and was normally closed. I want you to pay attention to what the engine sounds like with rapid, with an instantaneous change in throttle, okay? And, you know, with the conditions that you would, you would kind of uh, see that on the road or on the racetrack is you, you miss a gear, you go to too high of a gear and the car bogs. Uh, that'll be exacerbated by the restriction in the turbo system. You get off the line and you bog. That is also made worse by the restriction in the turbo system because the engine can't uh, rev, rev up or pull in as much air as it can because it has to overcome those restrictions. So just take a close listen to the engine note. Notice how the engine almost has to recover from that sudden change in load. And with the turbo system and everything else, it actually constantly loads the engine additionally from compared to normally aspirated when it's not under boost. Now I'm going to connect the boost source back on. And as you'll notice, the piston's back open. It's bypassing the, the turbo system altogether. You would normally have this rerouted all the way back over here to the air filter. Now listen to the engine tone and how the engine tone changes because I'm allowing it to suck air through the blow-off valve, the synchronic blow-off valve, and completely bypass the turbo system. You notice how the engine reacts so much faster with, with instantaneous wide open throttle and it doesn't have as bad of a recovery time as it did when you had that entire restriction of the turbo system. Now when I first designed this blow off valve I didn't think it would react this fast. I didn't think it would actuate this fast and so my thought was that this condition where you see the poppet valve open at idle 
was going to be an economy mode where when you're cruising on the freeway, you're bypassing the turbo system, you're getting more miles per gallon, and you're not loading the engine as much. Um, but I, I've kind of gone away from that mentality because the thing is, the thing actuates so fast. So for the guys that want to dump the atmosphere because everybody needs to hear you blow off, you know, uh, that's great. We're going to have an anti-stall valve for you. But really, if you're looking for maximum performance, you're really looking to crank response out of your turbo system, this is the way you're going to want to run this. And you're going to want to run it back, the discharge of the blow-off valve, back after the mass air meter and after the filter. Okay. <laughs>